Hi everyone, so I've just been to Tesco's uh, to get a few bits and also to pick up this huge click and collect parcel which I will reveal for you in a bit. I'm just going to show you a few of the groceries that I bought. So I went to Tesco's and I just got um, just a couple of bits for the freezer, some crinkly chips just to do for the kids tea tonight because I wasn't sure if they had anything in the freezer just to cook up for tonight and then just some cheapy chicken nuggets because they're always just good to have in the freezer the chips are a pound and the chicken nuggets are 72p so uh, me and Stuart are having chilli tonight I'm cooking up a chilli so I got the 750 grams of minced beef for three pounds British beef the last time I got this I cooked a bolognese of it and it wasn't very nice but I'm not sure if that was because of the mince or the other ingredients so I'm figuring as I'm cooking a chilli and it's got more flavour and more ingredients hopefully it will taste um, a bit better. A uh, tin of chopped tomatoes just because um, to go in the chilli obviously. I've already got um, some chopped tomatoes with added chilli and peppers which I'll put in as well. Usually two tins does that and then I usually put in two tins of mixed beans and a tin of baked beans as well so that really packs it out and makes it a nice big meal. I usually get about four or maybe five portions out of it, you know, put in the freezer after so that sorts out um, a few meals for later in the week or next week because <clears throat> obviously you can freeze it for up to a month. Um, I've got some fruit, I got, oh I've just noticed one of the strawberries in here is mouldy. Hopefully if I take that out and if you see the one just at the back there, it's got a bit of mould on. But hopefully I'll take that out and the rest should be okay if I wash them off and use them in a minute. Um, I've got two packs of strawberries, uh, one for me and Stuart to have later uh, and one for the girls because they love their strawberries. And I also got raspberries um, and some single cream because I thought uh, after our chilli later we can have some just a little bowl of fruit with a little bit of cream just a nice little easy light dessert and then I got myself a salmon and cucumber sandwich that I'm going to eat in a minute because I'm starving it's actually 3.28 and I've only just done the kids lunch um, I've been waiting in for a parcel, it hasn't come yet, and I was waiting for my friend to come and collect the rest of her holiday stuff that was still in our car. Um, so I couldn't get out to the shop until then. And then I just got um, some breakfast marmalade. Marmalade is, has been one of my cravings during the pregnancy. I've been really getting through my marmalade, so... Uh, and just that's just the cheap one, I think it was like 29p and the jam as well was 29p. I've opened it because I just did the girls sandwiches with it so I did buy a full loaf of bread but it's already whittled down to that because I've just done lunch for uh, Courtney Brett and Lucy and uh, their friend as well who's round here playing so it was a full loaf of bread about 10 minutes ago and it is no longer. Uh, some fabric conditioner because uh, Got washing to do you know we're a family of five we get for a lot of washing probably be getting for a lot more very very soon a uh, box of multi-pack of cereal uh, we were running a bit low on cereal and just a uh, cheapy uh, Courtney likes the special K type cereal with the red berries so uh, these are new in Tesco's and they're only £1.50 so um, Usually, I think the Asda ones are like £1.48 or something, and then I do get the proper special K ones if they're on offer. But um, so that will do Courtney for her cereal. The, um, the girls go back to school tomorrow, so cereal is important. I don't have to, you know, rush around making toast for everyone, they can have their cereal. Hopefully, we may get to school on time. Uh, and uh, just a bottle of still spring water got a few bottles but I just thought you know these are only like 17p so I thought I'd grab another one because you know we like to keep hydrated. Uh, I think that's it for my groceries. I'm going to have my lunch and then I will show you my click and collect stuff which is very exciting. There's a few bits for the baby in there so. So I've had my sandwich. I feel lots better. I was absolutely starving and now I'm going to have a look 
the bits that I got from FNF. So I got this little cute hat for Lucy. It all comes in these kind of plastic baggies. So a little hat, sort of similar to my little fedora hat. I just thought it was really cute. It's got like the little uh, pom-poms on and it's the lovely sort of felty autumn material. Uh, that was actually £10, which is more than I'd probably usually spend on a hat for one of the girls. But I just couldn't resist that. Uh, and I know she's got her the purple coat that I got from Pumpkin Patch from a Pumpkin Patch haul, but uh, again, this is just something that I saw on the website and I couldn't resist getting because it just looked gorgeous. It's another little autumn winter coat and that was sixteen pounds. The coats in Tesco's are actually really good and they're really good value as well. Uh, Brett's I got from there, and it's just like a padded hooded coat. Um, and usually he doesn't like wearing coats, he says they're uncomfortable, he just prefers like hoodies. But this one's really comfortable and he loves it, so he wore it on holidays and didn't complain. So, uh, so a little coat, really lovely. Uh, it does up with poppers. So, just a really gorgeous little coat for Lucy. I absolutely love Halloween, I go crazy for Halloween. So when I saw these on the website, I had to buy them. And I got these for both the girls. They are uh, leggings with bandages on. They were, uh, Lucy's were four pounds. And, oh, come and muddle your hat. Ooh, look at you. Oh, that looks gorgeous. What about the coat? That's your coat as well. So, uh, yeah, so Lucy's leggings were four pounds and Courtney's were five just the extra pound because they're a bigger size so they're really cool so and I also got some Halloween bits for the baby which I'm really excited about because obviously as you know we don't know what we're having um and that you know a lot of unisex stuff is I still find it's either just too plain or it's still more geared towards boys mainly so but for Halloween I can just go crazy so I just got the little my first Halloween uh, bib, which is just so cute. Um, the baby's due on the 22nd of October, so uh, if I was to go nine days overdue, then it would be born on Halloween, but I don't want to go nine days overdue. Um, Stuart thinks the baby's going to come early, I don't know. We'll see. But um, either way, it's going to have its first Halloween, which is really exciting. Um, so a little bib, first Halloween bib, that was £2 for that one. And my little first Halloween socks. Look how tiny those socks are, Lucy. Uh, I need them for my dolls. You need them for your dolls. What? These are for the baby. Yeah. So, yeah, just a little cute, my first spooky Halloween socks. They were £1.50. So, uh, and then I also got the little pumpkin hat, oh which is just goodness. so cute. Mum. What? What does it say? It says, my first spooky Halloween. My first spooky Halloween. And it's on the socks too. There's a little hat. The little hat was two yeah. pound. And do you know what? I'm going to take this hat to the hospital with me and the baby's going to wear it on, on the way home from hospital because I just love this hat. It's so cute. It's a little pumpkin. Ah. It's so tiny. Uh, the last two bits in here are also for the baby and I'm really into like zoos and animals and stuff. I have been for uh, ages and uh, these bits, as I said, like most unisex stuff I find is geared more towards boys uh, and these I thought would look lovely on a boy or a girl and they're these little giraffe uh, sleep suits uh, they were £6 for two so you've got the white with just the little giraffes and elephants on and some little birds and then just the baby giraffe loves mummy yellow one but yeah they're really cute but then I found this which is absolutely gorgeous and I love it's a giraffe pram suit so it's got little giraffe feet and giraffe belly and a little giraffe hood so 
and again because it's you know I think that would be cute on a boy or a girl and it's giraffe so it's just really cute and soft and cuddly so <clears throat> that's the stuff I picked up today oh the that was 12 pounds the sleep suit the pram suit <clears throat> sorry I also just wanted to show you um the other bits that I'd picked up for autumn I've started sorting through the girls drawers today just to kind of whittle through summer stuff and that and I've taken a few bits out but I don't, I don't want to take any lots out at the moment because you know you never know we could get some nice weather in September but I got Lucy just these little leggings that are like kind of like little jodhpurs or something uh, she had a pair like this uh, the year before last and they just look really cute and lovely little comfy sort of legging type things. They were six pounds. This is all again stuff from um, F and F Tesco's. It is my favourite place to buy the girls' clothes from. And then uh, both the girls have got these like kind of tartany stretchy leggings as well. So they've both got those. I haven't found a top to go with these yet so I'll be on the lookout for a top uh, Courtney's were £9 and Lucy's were 8 so again just the pound difference because of the size so they're really cute what class are you going into in September Lucy? Hedgehog. hedgehogs so what, what did we get? hedgehog jumper hedgehog jumper and what does it come with? um Little hedgehog buttons. Hedgehog skirts and tights. That's a really cute little outfit. Uh, that should be able to wear when it's a bit colder. And it's again, it's sort of kind of got purpley little tones. Just, you know, and purple's her favourite, as I've already said. And then just a lovely, uh, thick cardigan. Just to keep her nice and warm in the autumn. Just lovely sort of biscuity, beigey coloured cardigan with a little uh, flowers on and that was nine pounds so Lucy is pretty set for autumn uh, Courtney probably too she'll probably just you know live in her jeans and leggings and stuff like that and um, as I said they're both going back to school tomorrow anyway so there'll be less opportunities to wear uh, actual clothes they don't tend to get um, changed after school unless we're going somewhere in particular um, so yeah, so that's all that I've got so far. I have, uh, I'm, as I said, I'm expecting a parcel today. Um, I've been ordering a lot of clothes from the sort of the China, cheap China clothing website. So like Rose Gale, Sammy Dress, Dress Link, uh, Dress Lily, uh, all places like that. Um, I do have a couple of bits here already that are actually really nice. Um, I'm going to wait until some more bits come and then do like a big sort of China clothes haul so I can show you guys all that because you know it pops up on Facebook all the time you're always getting the mixed reviews and uh, depending on what you order uh, I'm finding the stuff's actually really nice so and it's really cheap too especially like the jewellery and accessories and stuff like that which as you can see I can love and um, I am wearing just one last thing before I go I am wearing my little t-shirt from the Primark haul uh, so that looks nice and I'm wearing with it these trousers that the girls absolutely hate and they call them my poo trousers um, but I like them and I think they look really nice Oh, there's the other thing. We got this little cow in the post today from the, um, from Cow and Gate. It came in this little package just because I signed up to the Cow and Gate baby club. So we just got this little cow through the post today that's just really cute. So that'll go in the crib for the baby. So, so that's it for today as i said more haul videos coming soon 33 week pregnancy update later in the week and until then take care and i will speak to you guys soon bye now bye